Well, the Backwater Gamblers Ski Show Team is back on the water for the summer. And joining us with details on this longtime Quad Cities organization are Teresa Hoffman and Kenzie Clausen. Uh, first of all, thank you both for being here today. Thanks thank for you having for having us. us. Yeah, I'm so excited to talk to you both. You guys just got started uh, Memorial Day weekend mm -hmm. as far as performances are concerned. Um, so we'll start with each of you kind of talking about your involvement with the Backwater Gamblers. Uh, Teresa, you've been with it for a number of years. Yep, I started when I was 18. This is my 38th year. Wow. Uh, so I've been involved in lots of areas from being on the water as a performer, helping with costumes, um, some behind the scenes things. Um, I'm on the board of directors, um, have wow. served as an officer, and this year um, my role is uh, helping out in the boat. So I'm a pin puller rider for one of the boats this year. Very, very cool. All right, and Kenzie, you're a skier, correct? I am a skier. I've been involved since I was about 19. Really? Um, minus a few years where I went to school yeah. uh, in St. Louis area, but um, I'm also on the board of directors this year, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's obviously a very cool thing that we have uh, here in the Quad Cities. Uh, the performances themselves, um, we were talking a little bit before the show started. Uh, how long are the performances and how much practice would you say goes into uh, getting ready for a performance? Um, well, our shows are on Wednesdays and Sundays throughout the summer. And we always have our schedule on backwatergamblers.com. They start at 6.30. We take an intermission about halfway through. The show itself is a, a time to be about an hour. So okay. with our intermission, it'll be about an hour and 20 minutes for your evening. Okay, and uh, Kenzie, how often do you guys practice? You talked about, I think you guys were saying um, in January, you start practicing indoors. I mean, there's so many different things you guys have to prepare for. Yeah, we'll practice about once a week starting in January, February wow. um, indoors and practice climbing pyramids and working with our partners. And um, it's a lot of teamwork, so that kind of gets us starting to mesh together as a team throughout the winter. Mm -hmm. And we practice mainly on Monday and Tuesday. And then Thursdays we will use as kind of an extra practice to work on things individually okay. or if a certain act needs extra practice, we certainly take time. Yeah. Uh, to do that. Yeah, it's really amazing to see you guys perform. Um, and a competitive team as well, correct? You guys have competed yes. in, in the past. So, and when you do these performances, that's not that's not what that is. You guys go and you travel and you compete, correct? Yeah, so we do our, our home shows for our home crowd, but we take our show where it's judged against other show teams, mm -hmm. both regionally around here, and then if we do well enough in regionals, which we usually do, yeah. then we go on to nationals and we are competing against teams from all over the, the country, but the, the heavy amount of um, show ski teams are in the Midwest area, so yeah. It's yeah. all judged, and, and we usually do real well. We're yeah, you do. It's very impressive. Um, what, uh, Kenzie, is your uh, favorite part about being a skier on, on a show team like the Backwater Gamblers? Uh, personally, I think it's opened up a lot of opportunities to, for me to meet new people. Uh, Backwater Gamblers is like a family to me. I have really enjoyed getting to know everyone on the team. Um, also, me and my sister have grown up water skiing just recreationally, and we we're super excited to have the opportunity to join the team just because we love being outdoors, we love spending the time in the sun and just behind the boat doing the sport we love. Yeah, it's very cool. And the level of, of experience required to join, because you mm -hmm. talk about when you've got new folks on the team, um, even if you're a really great water skier recreationally, like Kenzie was talking about, there is a lot to learn. So uh, do you guys require a certain level of experience? We do not, we right. love to teach. Wow. Um, and there's also, uh, sometimes you can get involved uh, immediately because we also have a lot of people that work behind the scenes. It probably takes 20 or more people every show just to make the show happen. So you have those behind the scenes people. Sometimes people start there and then they'll learn to ski and work their way into the show. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very cool. And uh, before we run out of time, you guys occasionally do offer water skiing lessons. Aside from people um, joining the Backwater Gamblers, you can help out with people that just want to learn how to water ski, correct? Yes. Okay. So we have a Learn to Ski event this weekend. Okay. Unfortunately, it, it is, is full. full. It's full. Oh, yeah. We do have another event coming up in August for that, uh, so be on the lookout to sign up for that. Yeah, I'm sure that would fill up very quickly. It just sounds it like does. an awesome thing. And we want to also remind everybody as well that you guys are a nonprofit organization. So when people come out and watch the Backwater Gamblers, it is free to you, uh, to, you to all the public, to go and, and check them out. Uh, they rely heavily, though, on donations. Um, they've got all kinds of equipment that obviously it's important to keep updated and things like that. Yeah, boats, so, gas, engines. Yeah. Insurance, ropes, <laughs> ropes costumes. So we appreciate, cheap. yeah, we, it's free family <laughs> entertainment. We do appreciate donations. Absolutely. Well, you can catch the Backwater Gamblers performing on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. The address is on your screen. 
All performances, as we mentioned, are free. Teresa and Kenzie, thank you so much, and good luck this season. Thank, thank you, you so very much.